we are still not done with repetitions. What we're going to do now is we're going to repeat the same conversation, um, but we will change one thing in it, and that is um, the verb. We've used so far the verb zanin, which means to know. Um, in this case, um, uh, it is the equivalent of to speak in English uh, in terms of, of, of languages. Uh, we've conjugated for I and for you, for the first person singular and for the second person singular. Um, now we'll use the same dialogue, but we'll change the zanim, as in I know or I speak, to te degam. Te degam, which means I understand. Or the zanit, uh, we'll change it to te degate. Let me let me write it down. So the so the like the first sentence in the dialogue would be the previous one was Bezahmet Inglizi Dazanit and now we'll change to Bezahmet Inglizi Tedagate. We're gonna start with Piao and our Piao, our man, is Canadian. Ahmed. He wants to ask, excuse me, do you understand Kurdish? Uh, sorry, do you understand English? He's asking about um, English. Excuse me, do you understand English? Te de gate. The beginning of the verb has changed. Well, not exactly changed, but we've added te and then the de of the, which shows the current or the present time. Um, this te is part of the verb and um, Think of it as um, think of it as part of the verb, as the way um, in English when you say to sit down. Okay, down stays with the verb. Uh, however, you conjugate the verb. Um, she sat down. We are sitting down. So down, down is always down. Nothing changes. Um, it is the same for this prefix, this te in front of the verb, te um, is, is the base of the verb. Let's, let's ignore the base of the verb for, for now. And just understand that te is part of the verb. It is in the beginning of the verb and it is always, um, it always stays the same. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's answer this. Canadian guy we have he is asking the Canadian guy is asking P Piao is asking Bez Ahmed Ilizi Tedagate and Jin the woman is is going to answer she's gonna answer politely Nakher as we said, nakher just means no. Uh, it is a bit more formal. We'll talk about that later. Nakher. Uh, Inglizi. Te stays the same. And negate. Negation. Te. Na. Gum. Now 
نخیر اینی زی تیان آگم ام پیاو وسای آه آه جسین آه ایر از نارس سپسیفیک ورد این کردیش سو دو نات اسک بام دار آه من کمک کمک کردی I'll write it here so that you can compare it to this one. Kame kurdi te degam. Te nagam, te degam. Here it is the negation, and here it affirms it, something that is happening. Te degam. This one is in negative, this one is in positive, let's call it that way. I understand Kurdish. I understand a little Kurdish. I understand Tedagam. Tenagam, I do not understand. So Piao is saying, oh, come here, Kurdi Tedagam. Engine. The woman is asking. Mm. Now let's use another um, another country that speaks English. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm just trying to think of something to change a little bit of the conversation, um, so that you know how the verb to be is used. Uh, I'll use English, English as in English as in um, a person being an English man, not as in the language. So Jun is going to ask, "Are you English?" Uh, she's going to ask, "To." So in Lizit, to in Lizit, and Piao, if he stays Canadian, can say either Bale or Nacher. Let's say Nacher. It is a short a, so it doesn't have any hat on it. Nachir Min Sorry for the spelling mistakes. So I mean kind of Dim. He can say or if he's English, he can say Bale Min in so that is an I with the head on it. Bale Min in Lee. But I'm in English. Yes, I'm in English. Or yes, I am an English man. The word for English, as in um, a person being English, is English. The language is Englishy. When you say I am English, you're saying English. Plus M and becomes 
in Zim for you it becomes to in it is eat because you are is eat but it is Englishism because I am is short uh, and there's no long ye at the end of English so from the beginning Bez Ahmed English is the gate Nachher English is the nagam Piao oh من كم يكون دي تدعم؟ من كم يكون دي تدعم؟ جن؟ تو إنجليزي؟ Are you English؟ بيعو نخير من كنديم؟ Or بلى من إنجليزم؟ 